Okay, in this video, I'd like to show you how to get the density of states in energy space in terms of the Fermi energy. So this video leads directly on from my video where I got what the Fermi energy is. And in that video, I did the following. We got in a previous video that we got the density of states in scalar case space. And we assumed that that was equal to the density of states in energy space. We also then assumed that we could integrate the, the density of states in energy space between 0 and E Fermi. And what we would get um, is the number of e electrons, assuming that each atom only had one single electron. And from that, we got the following formula here. We got the formula on the top left there. All right, so what I've done is I've rearranged this formula here as follows. Okay, that's not, that's not a big deal. It's just, just a small bit of rearrangement. Okay, nothing, nothing mad there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to manipulate the formula up here such that we get this expression in the brackets. And you're going to find that it is, it is in fact there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to what? I'm going to bring up my 3. So I'm going to get 3n. Okay, is equal to v over pi squared. Then we're going to say it's, well, say it's, it's 2, it's the square root of 2, 3 times. Like that. It's the square root m, 3 times. And the square root e fermi, we'll say, we'll just say e fermi to the 3 over 2. It's probably easier if I do that. e fermi to the 3 over 2. Like this. All right, divided by h bar squared. So it's going to be h to, uh, it's going to be h cubed, basically, like that. Just h bar cubed. Because we're going to get the square root of h bar cubed there. So, now what do I want to do? Well, if I rearrange it by bringing down my Fermi energy, so we now have 3n. And I'm going to bring down two of these, like that. So we're going to get twice e Fermi to the 3 over 2. I'm going to have left v over pi squared. I'm going to have, uh, well, root 2 times m to, to the 3 over 2 divided by h bar cubed, we'll say. h bar cubed. All right. So how can I rearrange this to get this formula here? Well, very straightforward. I can say that it's equal to now 3n over twice e Fermi to the 3 over 2 is equal to v over uh, 2 pi squared because I'm going to multiply above and below by 2 so now I'm going to have we'll say a 2 up here and a 2 down here that will give us my 3 over 2 so now I'm going to have 2 times 2 to the 3 over 2 I'm going to have m to the 3 over 2 alright and my h bar squared I can do the same thing I'm going to have h bar squared to the 3 over 2 like that alright now let's compare that to the formula I've written above so this in brackets here is the exact same as what's written up there so as a result, I can say that that's equal to, uh, I can say the following, basically. I can make the following uh, assumption, or uh, not assumption, I can make the following conclusion. That rho of E, the density of states in energy space, is equal to 3n over twice E Fermi to 3 over 2 times root E, and leave it at that. And this is the density of states, states in energy space, and I know you couldn't see that there. All right, and this is quite important, it's very useful. In fact, this is the this is the expression I'm going to be using to calculate the chemical potential in my next video. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.